Hello, it's October 30th, 2015. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch Can Daily News Weekly Recap. Catch Can's nearest bank opened the doors of its new location this week. North Rim's bank's branch of the future opened on Monday at the site of the former Burger King near the Plaza Mall. The bank spent more than $2 million on renovations, and the branch will enable local customers to communicate and work with financial experts at North Rim's headquarters in Anchorage through teleconference equipment. The petition to create the city of Ward Cove was dropped this week. Trevor Shaw, who served as the spokesman for the committee that was developing the petition, said it appeared that the overwhelming majority of North Tonga's residents supported ending the process. Though some residents favored the proposal's high barriers to tax changes, many opposed the additional layer of government that a city of Ward Cove would bring to the community. Revilla Blended School's drama class held its first performance this past week. The class is in its first year and performed for friends, family, and teachers in an improv show this past Tuesday. The class of nine students is preparing for another performance at the next monthly grind on November 21st. Ketchikan High School hosts the Bill Weiss Invitational this weekend. The tournament is the only home meet for the K-High wrestling team this year. Every school in Southeast Alaska that has a wrestling program will attend the Invitational, and wrestlers from Kuskokwim Learning Academy in Bethel will also compete. The finals, which start at 6 p.m. on Halloween night, will include a costume contest to encourage community support. That's it. Check out this weekend edition for a preview of First City Players Fall Musical Mary Poppins. Here's your photo of the week. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch Candy Lady's Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend and a happy Halloween.